Welcome back to Alone With You. We've just returned from the site of the exploding tower, which we somehow miraculously survived. Let's go speak with the AI. Okay, all the data you collected today is synced and ready to be worked on. You did well out there. Since you went to the comms relay, you'll be able to visit Miss Laurier in the Hollow Sim Chamber tonight. You can retire to your quarters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, so it looks like I will have the opportunity to talk to each of them. I was worried it might just be the one that I set up a special uh, appointment for. But it looks like after visiting each one, I'm going to get to talk to each person. I wonder what she's going to say about the tower exploding. Or if she can help me figure out exactly what caused it. Oh, you came back. Uh, I'm glad. Sorry about that. Uh, I was just preoccupied with something and almost didn't notice you. I almost didn't notice you come in. Why is that? Oh, well, since you came here last time, the AI has got me working around the clock. Simulations, projections, all that stuff. For your ship. You know. I was actually thinking a bit more about what we spoke about last week. About when we all first came here, and how difficult it was. And I just realized I spent all that time talking about myself. I didn't even ask you about it. So, what was it like for you, when we all arrived here 16 years ago? Yeah, it was fine. It was alright. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Who can you not remember? Like, when you come to a, a colony like this, something so bleeding edge, something so unique, you're gonna remember when you came to it. It was scary. Really? I, I honestly didn't think you'd say that. I mean, considering everything you're going through right now. I guess I ask because, well, people were always hiding their feelings, you know? Everyone wanted to act like they had everything under control. But the head psychologist, Miss Beauchard, you know, she was there for a reason. It wasn't easy for everyone, even when things were running smoothly. I don't remember everything, obviously, but when the rift event hit, that pushed a lot of people over the edge. I think that was the first time I saw the others. Well, I mean, for once, I wasn't the only one having a hard time with it all. Makes me wonder if I was better equipped to deal with what happened. You know, because I was kind of off on my own anyway. Until you can find out what happened to me, I guess I can't be sure. Tell me more. I appreciate that, but I think I've gone on about this enough. Just talking to you, it's really helping me out. Thank you. So, here we are. Moving on to another topic. There's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Can you guess what it is? Ooh, I know. Uh, my scarf. Again with that scarf. Well, that wasn't exactly what I was getting at, but all right. Let's talk about your scarf. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen any other colonist wearing something like that. I mean, before. Where did you get it? It was a gift. Oh, is that right? That's... that's a very personal gift. Whoever, uh, gave it to you, they must have liked you very much. Anyway, I can see how it'd be useful out here, uh, out there. You could, uh, wipe condensation off your helmet, patch up your suit with it if you had to, stuff like that. You know what? That gives me an idea. You know, about the comms tower. 
The array in that thing really has uh, was your best chance of sending a signal. But kind of like your scarf, maybe there's a simpler way to do what we need. Something that uses older tech that I can patch together. Well, I'm glad to see that my scarf has saved the day. Uh, well, since you're here, what else do you think might be interesting to discuss? I'm um, stuck about the fact that the comms tower blew up with me inside of it. The comms tower? Oh, you mean tower E? Well, wasn't what I was thinking about, but sure, we can talk about that. That tower is much less habitable than the other one. It's like the space between two walls, crammed with equipment and wiring. All necessary stuff, but pretty ugly. Wait, you look like I'm saying something stupid. Am I saying something stupid? What's going on with the tower? Well, it blew up. It what? Oh. Oh, I see. Something triggered some kind of explosion. Wow, that's really unfortunate. Who could possibly have done that? What a terrible turn of events. Without that specialized array, you won't be able to get a distress signal far enough for Hudson Cartier back home to pick it up. The other equipment wasn't built for that. The quakes must have really destabilized it. You must have been thrown quite some way. That would explain why your suit looks even more dinged up. You know, the real thing that saved me was my scarf. If it wasn't for that, I'd be dead. Well, I'm, I'm happy to see you weren't injured. But I do wonder now, without that tower, how will you get a signal out? I could be a smartass and say telephone. No, actually, I'm just going to send... I was going to say I'll just send a fax, but if you can send a fax, then you have a telephone line, so that'd be a stupid thing to say. Anyway. Any ideas? I guess that's why I'm here, to solve problems. Let me think. The problem is that Tower E is our best signal, but maybe we don't need our best. If there's another transponder or booster, we could at least get something into space. If we can't use the powerful antennas that were in Tower E, maybe we can patch a strong signal together by starting with some weaker ones. Like I said before, there are redundant systems throughout the towers. If another part of the comms relay is accessible, there's still a chance you can find something. I'll give the AI some specific things to look for. That way it can guide you and hopefully you'll find some equipment we can patch together. Thanks so much. You're, you're welcome. I really do cherish these visits, you know. I mean, hologram or not, I feel better knowing I can help. But also just that we get to talk. Seems like our time is up again. AI probably needs its cycles to keep Colony A functioning, and to keep you safe. You know, until you manage to leave. But we had the spirited discussion, and I'm sorry to hear about the tower. Until next time, I better keep working. However, if you find anything out there, anything at all that might help me understand, well, what the other me went through, please, let me know. Goodbye for now. Look at my potato face. My face inside of that suit looks like, not necessarily a potato, but like an egg with glowing eyes. Alright, back to sleep. again. Could you... Well, could you please come see me in the core? Just want to ask you about something. Sounds a little bit ominous. Do you know what today is? Um... It's okay, Nella. I wasn't really expecting you to. Today is... My birthday. What? 
more accurately, my date of activation was today, back in 2048. When you all arrived, that means I've been active for exactly 16 years. Happy birthday! Thank you so much, Noah. I appreciate the sentiment. Normally I would not mention such an arbitrary bit of information, but, well... I suppose that now is... now it is just the two of us, I felt the need to share this with you. I noticed how much happier the holograms seemed to be after your evening meetings, because you and they shared information. So I thought I'd give it a try, I suppose you would say. In any case, you have three more areas you can visit today. Head to the shuttle bay when you're ready. If only I could bake it a cake. It wouldn't be able to eat it, but at least we'd have a cake. Okay, mission complete there. So we got Colony B, the caves, and the aggro domes. Hmm, let's go to the aggro domes. I just realized we can see our home base in the background there, can't we? I think. According to records, Miss Barra, I'm I'm gonna try it. Barred Bar Barred. God, that sounds terrible. Never mind. Miss, I forgot her first name. Stated that the research dome was one of her favorite places. It's been like a, a week or so since I've played, by the way, so I kind of forgot all their names. It was also one of the colony's most important facilities. The research here allowed major advances in food process. Yeah, I think I already know this. Mm -hmm. This decontamination chamber seems to be working. That's a good sign. It should be finished momentarily. Whoa! Now there's a rare site here on Epsilon Eridani B. This outer dome was used for testing researched species. So much green! It was originally a much more structured lab-like environment, but over the years, Miss... I really wish I remembered her first name, transformed it into this garden. Was it Leslie? If I recall correctly, she and I debated the merits of such an environment. She stated that having the garden wasn't just about science. It was about something more human. I regret that I did not fully understand at the time. It's beautiful. Are those apples? Oh, she could examine them or something. This is a pathway down here. Nope. So only one way to go. Laboratory dump. I'm reading a high concentration of foreign air particles from the lab on the west side of that research dome. I think you should check that out first. It's a portable analyzer of some kind. I'm not sure what use it would be right now, so please keep looking around. Alright, West Lab first, as I said. That tube was breached and the plant inside has mutated somewhat. Toxins from the tube environment must have escaped into this room. The tubes are filled with various plants and chemical test environments. It was faster to do multiple tests at once to improve production. These notes contain specifics on Miss Hainsworth's research. They indicate she was combining trace amounts of the toxin with other elements. According to this, she was trying to run more experiments at, one, um, at once than Miss 
I'm just gonna call her Leslie. I'm hoping that's her first name. Uh, more experiments at once and Miss Leslie approved uh, to in an attempt to save time. Tests progressing faster than expected, she wrote. Miss Hainsworth focused on bryophyte plants to isolate those first. Do you know what a bryophyte is? Nope. Bryophytes are land plants without vacular systems. They don't produce seeds or flowers. Moss is a good example. Ah, right. I think I remember a little tiny, tiny bit of that from my biology class. The team must have been trying to isolate which plants were most susceptible to carrying the toxin to understand how it traveled. Miss Hainsworth was focused on bryophytes, specifically mosses, but her research is incomplete. If we can get a couple of samples, perhaps we can finish it. Look around the dome. See if you can find some equipment that looks like a bulky laptop, a portable analyzer. I have an idea. Oh, well, we just found that. The corpse of Chief Genetics Researcher Ashley Hainsworth. The skeletal remains are consistent with the osteoporosis she suffered. It appears Miss Hainsworth used exobraces to regain some mobility, as her legs were severely affected. The braces remain on the skeleton. Miss Hainsworth was manually writing notes on her research here. They read, I finally confronted Leslie about her inability to lead with direction. We had a pretty heated argument. I'll be honest, I didn't think the chief had it in her. She clung to the hopeless belief that the team would see things through. I thought she would never give up. But after a while, she came back and told me she thought I might be right. To think of it, after all this time. But she made me agree not to tell the rest of the team of her acquiescence to not disrupt her uh, precious ecosystem. So I've got them using the portable analyzer to test our newly grown samples. The notes end there, but she's confirmed what I thought. Perhaps you should look for the portable analyzer she mentions. Terminal still has some local data that didn't get properly synced with the Colony Network. Looks like Miss Hainsworth and Mr. Jagger continued their private conversation regarding uh, Miss Leslie's leadership capabilities. Ashley. So I had it out with her. With Leslie. Arlo. You did? What happened? Ashley. We had quite a row. Was surprised, actually. But in the end, she agreed with me. I don't know if she wanted to, you know? That irritating sense of duty she has. Arlo. Holy, I can't believe you did it. So that's it, then. We're going to proceed with your research plan. Ashley. Looks like. We'll show her, Arlo. No more pussyfooting around. We'll get this done. Fast. Better than with her restrictive rules. Arlo. I just hope we're making the right decision here. Things have been so crazy lately. I hope we can come back from this. Let's go get that analyzer. There you go. The analyzer already has data on it from Miss Hainsworth experiments. But we can use it, use it to continue her work. If we can figure out how the toxins work more specifically, maybe I can protect your food supply for the journey home. Take it out to the garden, hopefully we can find a way to hook it up and find some specimens. There's still two other labs to explore, so this can't be the end of it. Is this not the garden? Um, I guess it, I guess it's not the garden. No, it says exit the garden. All right. Can I use it on the plants in here? Nope. Guess I'll go to the north lab. This isn't where you need to be right now. Um. Okay, what was I missing from back there then? It must be down here. But where? It didn't look like I could scan anything. Hmm? Oh. 
Here we go. Okay, the analyzer is connected and online. What we need to do is find samples from this Hainsworth field of research. So let's start by finding some samples of bryophytes. Remember, plants without vascular systems. Mosses for the most part. There must be samples in the garden. Find and scan three of them. Oh, I needed to like set it up on a table first. Oh, okay. Um, mm hmm. There's three samples. All right, back to the portable analyzer. Good, I've got the data from these bryophyte plants now. I'll be able to run simulations and tests back here. I think we're onto something. Head to the north lab inside the dome and see what was being worked on there. Science. Thomas' local storage has been severely damaged, but I, I can still read external media, such as data cards. Okay, so I'm going to find a data card somewhere. These notes were by Dale Zarakowski, one of the other geneticists. It appears he was working under Miss Hainsworth's direction. Terophyte strains 1 through 4, no conclusive results, it says. There's a chart that indicates more tests were intended. So Mr. Zarakowski was focused on terophyte plants from the domes. Do you remember what a terophyte is? Nope. Unlike a bryophyte, a terophyte plant does have a vascular system, but no flowers. It uses spores to reproduce. Good examples are ferns and what are sometimes called horsetails, important elements to Earth-like ecosystems. We need to complete Mr. Zarakowski's research so we can be sure our food systems are safe. Let's deal with these terophyte plants. Uh, turn to the garden and find some specimens. Okay. Oh, is it just a lab coat? The ruined coat contains trace elements of dust and debris from the surrounding wreckage. I can also see some DNA around one of the cuffs. The coat belonged to geneticist Dale Zarakowski. There are small food wrappers in the pockets. Uh, as well as a small, worn, folded-up photograph. Photo depicts the dome staff looking tired after what was probably a long day. In it are Leslie... Oh yeah, that was her first name, Leslie. Ashley Hainsworth, Florin Marchand, Mr. Zarakowski, and Matsuko Bradley. In the photo, Mr. Zarakowski appears to be looking at Miss Bradley, one of the other geneticists on the team. Why do you think he's doing this? <laughs> I d Why is one person looking at another person? There could be a million reasons. I don't know. Perhaps you're right. You could have simply responded to an outside stimulus. Maybe this was taken when the domes were starting to be affected by the toxin. What? This looks like a fern. Looks like another one. I just scan everything. It's pretty obvious I'm gonna have to scan this and scan the tree. There are extensive notes, quite neatly organized, on another type of plant. These appear to be by Miss Matsuko Bradley, another geneticist at the dome. Like with the previous research, there is no real recorded success. 
Ms. Bradley wrote, despite large angiosperm sample population, have not yet isolated toxin. Ms. Bradley was tasked with testing angiosperm species of plants. Are you familiar with angiosperms? Just tell me. Uh, Ms. Bradley was narrowing her search to deciduous plants, those with vascular systems... Those with vascular system... Wait, what? Those with vascular systems of the ability to produce flowers? I think there's a missing and. Those with vascular systems and the ability to produce flowers? If she was looking at angiosperms, there are likely samples such as trees, crops, and deciduous plants in the garden. Okay, gotcha. Probably... that's a data card? Yep. Standard 2D data card? Mm-hmm. Damage too heavily can't be used. Alright, let's take that to the other lab. Reading the data card now. Uh, it's a bit slow since the terminal is in such poor repair. Success! The data card contains several research document backups that don't seem to pertain to the task at hand. However, there is a personal file here called Matt Brad P Log 24. Personal log, P log. It reads, research could be going better. Everyone's under the gun. Ashley's pushing harder each day. We know the stakes, but still she flexes her muscles. I get the sense she has more than just survival riding on this new line of experiments. She has pride and a need to prove she was right. I don't really know to whom. Dale has been getting a little close lately. Sometimes I feel at ease when we do relax together then suddenly I'll feel as if I'm the experiment. He's sweet, but a little intense. He's an excellent geneticist, though, and we need him. Now more than ever. than a tree ripe with apples. They were apples. The heck is this thing? Testing a few varieties and... Uh, beans. Ah. Excellent. Got the data from the angiosperms. That's the last piece of data we needed. I can run a full suite of tests here now. I hope we have better success than the Acrodome's crew did. It might take me a few days to complete my simulations, but it's something. It's unfortunate that this facility was so greatly compromised. I only hope we can make use of the work that went on here. Though I imagine that garden must be a welcome change from the corridors of the colony. We must continue our work if we are to escape. Head back. It was a nice change of pace. Finally some color. Yeah, there's, I think, our facility in the background there. Well, you're back again. Come see Moon ready to sync up, as usual. Okay, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go sync our data with AI, and then probably go speak with Leslie in the Hollow Chamber. 